Hi, I'm Tara Schmidlin, one of the CPMC genetic counselors. Before you view your results, I want to share with you some information about what your results can and cannot tell you. When viewing your results for any condition, it is important to remember that testing done as part of the CPMC study only looks at disease risk. CPMC test results are not a medical diagnosis. If you think you're having symptoms of a medical condition, please contact your healthcare provider. Coronary artery disease is caused by the buildup of plaque in the blood vessels that go to the heart. The plaque that builds up narrows the arteries, reducing blood flow to the heart. When blood flow to the heart is reduced or limited, it can lead to chest pain, also called angina. If the buildup continues and blood flow is blocked completely, a heart attack can occur. Symptoms of coronary artery disease include angina or chest pain, shortness of breath, and arrhythmia or irregular heartbeat. It is important that you tell your doctor if you are experiencing any of these symptoms. Coronary artery disease is the leading cause of death in the United States. One in two males and one in three females will die from coronary artery disease. There are many factors that make up your overall risk for developing coronary artery disease, some of which you can control and some you cannot control. The risk factors you can control include your diet, the amount of exercise you get, smoking and drinking alcohol, management of stress, your cholesterol level and blood pressure, and your blood sugar management if you're diabetic. The risk factors that you cannot control include your family history, your genetic makeup, your race or ethnicity, and your gender. Remember that we all have two copies of every gene. We inherit one copy from our mother and one from our father. This means that for every genetic variant the CPMC study looks at, you can have either zero, one, or two copies of the genetic risk variant. As you can see, your results will tell you the following. How many copies of the risk variant you have, and how your genetic risk compares to someone with zero copies of the risk variant. The CPMC study looked at your risk for coronary artery disease. Learning that you have a genetic variant that has been associated with coronary artery disease does not diagnose you with this disease and does not mean that you will develop coronary artery disease in the future. It means that your genetic risk due to the specific variant is higher than people who do not have the variant. Learning that you do not have a genetic variant associated with coronary artery disease does not rule out this diagnosis and does not mean that you are protected from or that you will never get coronary artery disease. It means that your genetic risk due to the specific variant is lower than people who do have the variant. Coronary artery disease is a complex disease. This means that it is caused by a combination of genetic variants in multiple genes and by the environment. No single genetic variant causes coronary artery disease. So no single genetic variant will be able to completely predict your risk for coronary artery disease. Genetic variant information can help estimate your risk of coronary artery disease when considered along with your other risk factors, like your weight, your family history, and your age. We may learn of other genetic variants that influence your risk of coronary artery disease in the future. As we learn more, your estimated genetic risk for coronary artery disease may change. Results of CPMC testing alone cannot diagnose coronary artery disease or rule out the chance of developing this condition in the future. Risk factors such as age, family history, or lifestyle may have a greater impact on your risk than any individual genetic variant. If you have questions about your results, please consider discussing them with your health care provider or contact a CPMC genetic counselor.